Hey YouTube, sorry I haven't done a video in a little while. Our weather got really, really cold. It was down to 15 below for quite a while and it just finally warmed up to about zero. Today it's finally about 25 degrees, so I might be able to run a rock crawler outside and do a little little video for you. I've been inside a long time for little while trying to escape the cold and I went ahead and built this 3d printed trailer it's almost entirely 3d printed besides the axle but as you can see even even the leaf springs are 3d printed it has some suspension I printed it in a couple different parts just so you could see the the different functioning parts that I had to print the frame and then the front shackles and the rear shackles the the rear you can see that I slotted them in the rear of the shackle so when you flex the spring And see it moving in the slot and then I went spring over on my leaf springs or sp spring under on my leaf spring sorry kind of like my old Jeep and uh, so they actually act as their own bump stops so this ABS material doesn't flex too far and, and get brittle and snap hopefully over time But yeah, that's that's what I came up with on my 3D printer in the last few days when it's just been super, super cold. There's nothing else that you can do. This axle, the spacers here, they're just pieces of a pen. And then underneath that is this brass hollow tube that I got from Hobby Lobby. I think it was five dollars for two of them and then underneath that is this all thread I think the tube somewhere around seven millimeters the all thread is is just over four millimeters and then uh, I got these kind of cool uh, little lugs and and I got uh, the all thread, the lugs, and then some of the the lock nuts, just to make them look cool. It's from Home Depot. The lock nut is, and the the, the little hub nuts, and uh, the all thread. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be pretty functional, hopefully. Uh, it works pretty good. My hitch in back, it's kind of just a bent piece of wire, and it could be have a little bit more manufacture to it, I think. I, I'm not sure where I'm gonna, gonna go or what I'm gonna make for a hitch, but I think I'm gonna end up changing it somehow. But I'm gonna try to get some running video of this for you today. It's kind of cool to drive and uh, back up the trailer and get it to the point to where you, you got it dialed down and you can go in reverse with the trailer as well as you can go in forwards. I think I'll get it down. It's it's quite the challenge. I think it's going to add a little bit of fun out there on the trail. But uh, yeah, I'm running out of time here. Uh, go ahead and, as always, subscribe. Hit that like button. Make sure you hit that bell so you can see the next videos on this. Hopefully the trailer lasts a little while. I'm probably going to do most of the running on video so we can see how long it lasts before it starts breaking down. With, you know, an axle, no bearing in it and whatnot. But uh, you guys have a great day and uh, I'll see you later.